Hello, uh, my name is Chitra Sander. I am the author of Sona Sharma Looking After Planet Earth, illustrated by Jen Cartoon and published by Walker Books. This book has been chosen for Peter's Book Club for September 2022 and I wanted to read the first chapter for you all. Sona Sharma Looking After Planet Earth. Chapter 1 Start small, start now. Sona Sharma lives in a large joint family full of happy people who argue sometimes. Relatives come unannounced, the phone rings often and everyone is always welcome, whatever time it is. These are Sona's people. Amma, Sona's mum. She's a music teacher and singer. She's always humming a song or listening to music. Appa, Sona's dad. He works with computers all day and sometimes at night too. Tata, Sona's grandfather. He knows a lot of things and when he doesn't know about something, he tells a story about something else. Party, Sona's grandmother. She makes the best sweets in the whole world. She laughs at Tata's jokes. The president, Sona's other grandmother. Sona doesn't know her real name. The president used to be the president of some college, so everyone calls her that still. She lives in the only orange house in the entire neighborhood called the Orange. Joy and Reno, Sona's friends from school. They live a street away and go to school with Sona in an auto rickshaw. Mullai, Sona's auto rickshaw driver. She picks up Sona, Joy and Reno in that order to drop off at school. In the evening, she takes them home, Renu first, Joy next and Sona last. She's never late and recites a lot of Tamil poetry. Elephant, Sona's best friend. He fits perfectly in Sona's toy bag and her cuddly chair and next to her on her pillow. Sona never goes anywhere without him, except of course to school. It was Friday morning and Sona was in class. She was sitting in front with Joy and Reno. Good morning everyone, said their teacher Ms. Rao. Today we are going to talk about planet Earth. Sona loved planet Earth, so she listened carefully. She didn't want to miss a thing. Our planet is in trouble, said Ms. Rao. Our summers are getting hotter and our rainy seasons are causing more floods. Scientists have been studying this and they believe our planet is heating up. Heating up? interrupted Joy. Yes, said Miss Rao. More cars on the road causes more heat in the air. And more smoke, said Reno. That's right, said Miss Rao. And our oceans are polluted too. I love going to the beach, said Sona. But the waves bring a lot of rubbish back. Yes, that's because we throw a lot of our rubbish into the ocean, said Miss Rao. I don't, said Sona. Party always makes me bring the rubbish back in a bag. That's good, Sona, said Miss Rao. In geography, Miss Rao showed them photos of melting polar ice and talked about why that was a bad thing. In science, they learned that some rubbish lived forever. Like what, miss? asked Sona. Plastic bottles, said Miss Rao, and baby snappies. Sona worried about Min Mini snappies living forever and ever and stinking forever and ever. In maths, they did sums about forests disappearing. I don't think elephant will like these sums very much, thought Sona. In English, they wrote poems about pollution. Our planet is in trouble, said Renu. We can fix it, said Miss Rao, if everyone helps. Even children, asked Sona. Yes, yes, especially children, said Miss Rao. Start small, start now. Sona didn't understand. She raised her hand and asked Miss Rao to explain. When we leave our class and go to play, Miss Rao said, what do we do? Bump into each other, said Reno. Before that, said Miss Rao, chuckling. We switch off the lights and fans, said Sona, pointing at the sign near the door. Exactly, said Miss Rao. Where do we throw our unwanted paper and cardboard? 
In the recycling bin, said Joy. Miss Rao nodded. Yes, we have to do that at home too, she said. If we all look after our planet, we can make a difference. Let's make a pledge. Repeat after me. I, insert your name, and then say what you will do. I, Sona Sharma, will look after planet Earth, said Sona. And then Joy Pledge, and then Renu, and the rest of the class. So what could we do about it when we get home, asked Miss Rao. Any ideas? I'll ask my entire family to look after planet Earth, said Sona. Good idea, Sona, said Miss Rao. Maybe all of us can work out a plan for our families. Those who bring them in on Monday will receive a gold star. That evening, when they were returning home in the auto rickshaw with Mullai, Joyce said, I love getting gold stars. Me too, said Renu. Me too, said Sona. But even if Miss wasn't giving out gold stars, I'd still want to look after our planet. Joy and Renu agreed. The moment party opened the door, Sona declared, I'm going to look after planet Earth and I'm going to ask everyone to help. Excellent, said party. I'm sure we can all help you. Sona woke up Saturday morning to a very quiet house. Where is everyone, she asked. Maybe they've gone away on holiday, said Elephant. Sona tiptoed over to see Minmini, who was sleeping in her crater. Surely her family wouldn't leave Sona, Minmini and Elephant and go on holiday. Besides, it was December and the season of music. Amma sang at concerts. Party and the president took turns to look after Minmini. Sona helped too. She came up with silly songs that made Minmini smile and giggle. Sona went downstairs. Party was in the garden. What is Party doing? asked Elephant. She's creating a column. She uses rice flour to draw designs of all sorts of things like flowers, pots and mangoes. Why can't she draw on paper? asked Elephant. Elephant didn't know about columns. Columns are drawn on the ground inside or outside our home, said Sona. Every morning Sona woke up to the sound of Party's broom sweeping the street outside their gate. Then Party washed the area with water and drew a column. Some days she created a large design and some days she drew small ones. During festivals, she made special columns for the particular celebration. Sona watched Party mark out a square of dots. Then she drew squiggles around the dots to make a squiggly pattern. If I had to walk along the lines of a column, I'd get dizzy, said Elephant. Never walk on a column, you'd smudge it, said Sona. Party stood up. What do you think? she asked. It's beautiful, said Sona, but why are you drawing it here and not in front of the house? Because I'm practicing for the annual column competition, said Party. Don't you remember? I drew a lamp column for last year's competition. Sona nodded. So tough, she said. Party had filled the ground with column designs. Her white dots and squiggles made beautiful patterns on the brown soil. Don't step on them, said Party. I'll pick one of these to draw on the morning of the competition. Tata came into the garden. I see you're getting ready for the competition, he said. Sona, did I tell you I'm the chief judge this year? So will you give first prize to Party? asked Sona. Not necessarily, said Tata. Judges have to be impartial to be fair. Tata was also part of the Dawn Koya group called the Pasuram Party. The group sang songs written by Saint Andal, a poet who had lived hundreds of years ago. Some of the members started out at five in the morning. They gathered the others as they walked from house to house until they reached the local temple. Party explained that the Dawn Koya was the judging panel for the Kolam competition. It's a neighborhood competition, said Party, so everyone knows someone on the judging panel. And it's for fun, said Tata. But I take it very seriously, said Party. Tata chuckled. Sona and you are exactly the same. You take everything seriously.
That's not a bad thing, protested Party. Party, said Sona, will you show me how to draw a column? Of course, said Party. She pinched a bit of rice flour between her thumb and finger and drew on the ground. Then Sona had a go. She loved drawing with pencils, pens and paint brushes. But drawing with rice flour was not as easy. Practice makes perfect, said Party. Keep trying. Elephant watched as Sona got better and better. Practice makes perfect, he whispered. I hope you enjoyed listening to the first chapter of Sona Sharma looking after planet Earth. And why don't you have a go drawing the columns yourself?